What's going on everybody? It's me, Working Man, and uh, I had to get this game because, well, <clears throat> I'm hoping it's going to be just as good as uh, Dark Souls or Elden Ring. Uh, you know, basically, <clears throat> I uh, watched uh, as from Heel vs. Babyface play it, and it looked really good, so, you know, I'm really, ho I'm really hoping that it'll have that, you know... Like, good Dark Souls feeling. I mean, I even, like, watched a few other videos, like, you know, about, like, should I buy this game, and, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people, you know, they say it's uh, definitely a good Souls-like game. <clears throat> After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by humanity. Though fear of his terrible power and doom. And so was born the hallowed sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. That was Light a was dude. By Look, shadow. chick. And with it, hope. Damn, a those are some big motherfuckers. Champion arises. The dark crusade. I like how they got nails in their head. That's pretty cool and looking. Perhaps it will indeed come to pass. That only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. That's kind of cool. Like the three headed, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, like Chimera or something. Oh shit. Let's do this. Yeah. I got my Zweihander. Fuck you. Taste lantern. Oh no. Ugh. He ran me through. Ugh. Help me, my moths. Yes, the blue lantern power. What the hell is this place? Come on, you bastards! Lords of the Fallen. I gotta say, you know, when I played the first game, I was, I was so disappointed in that game. I mean, it was the worst Souls-like game I ever played in my life. Let's see. Tell you what, let's do... I'll do 70. How about that? I mean, it's a little brighter, but, you know, I'm sure in the game, you know, it's going to be pretty dark, so. Okay, settings. I always like to go through here and, you know, set what I want before I do anything. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so we got brightness. Uh, wait. Okay, saturation. What is contrast? I mean, I don't see anything different. So you can almost like make the game like in black and white if you want. 
let's see. Uh, I'd say 50 looks pretty good. Uh, apply changes. Uh, render mode. Uh, I guess we want to do quality. Subtitles are on, that's good. Okay, it's almost exactly like, uh, what you call it, uh, you know, Dark Souls with the sec session password, I like that. Okay, let's see, R1 light attack, R2 heavy attack, uh, L2 is lantern, L1 is block, okay, just like Dark Souls, I like that. Uh, square to use item, triangle to switch stance, okay, that's good. X to interact or jump, um, circle to dodge, let's see. Someone told me, uh, online that, uh, to jump in this game, you had to do, like, in Dark Souls, where you run and press circle. Let's see. Wait, how does magic work? That's weird. Spell one, two, three. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but okay, anyway. Alright. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm excited. Ages pass, distorting self delusion into faith with a few obtaining the revolution they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine are morals mere pawns. Hmm. I don't know. Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. Interesting. For she must feed this almost has like a Dark Souls 2 kind of opening or whatever I don't know if that's like us I'm assuming that's us I like that armor, it's pretty cool. Boris, but almost... forgive me. Let's do you this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Okay, so that's not us. I guess uh, the lantern will choose us from among the corpses. Oh shit, he's committing uh, Harakiri. Nope, nope, maybe the Cerebrus or whatever is going to get him. Or service, or... Is it Cer Cer service? I don't know how you say that. The metal for this crusader. You fail. Don't worry, man. I'll take your place and, you know, I'll save you. Or not save you, but I will, uh, you know, pick up where you left off. Avenge you, that's what I'm trying to say. Looks pretty much like the same character. Alright. Um, are these uh, different characters? Or. Yeah, here we go. So we got a werewolf man with a sword. Let's see. Alright. His stats. Oh god, it's just like Dark Souls. It feels so good. You got Inferno, Radiance, Vitality. Endurance, agility, and strength. 
Alright. Let's see what a partisan is. Uh, looks like a faith build, maybe. Let's see. No, it's more like a... a well, I don't know. Let's see. It says, a dutiful uh, Mornstead fighter who sorrow at ruination of their kingdom by occupying forces only fuels their uh, defiant struggle in the name or in its name whether fighting up close or their or fla fighting up close with their steel flail that's cool I like the flail <laughs> um, let's see uh, or from a range with a crossbow a strong and dependable all-rounded uh, okay so it's like a well-rounded fighter okay Let's see. Okay, so this is, I guess, the female class. Or the female type or whatever. Where is the, uh, what you call it? Uh, the magic class. Let's see. Alright, so this is, like, I guess, the, the cleric or whatever. That's pretty badass looking. Pirate cultist, a fervent worshiper of Adir, who has sworn to see the natural order finally restored and humanity's or humanity's one true god return to his rightful place as their ruler, a high risk class uh, reliant on or er, reliant on pro er, Reliant on proficiency in Inferno. Is this like uh, the naked class or whatever? Um, no, I guess not. Let's see. Well, it is sort of because uh, see the stats are nine 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 nine. Okay, a wretched prisoner who has suffered incredible torments, whether three are or whether, or whether there was ever any truth in their guilt or not a class uh, for those who would rage at fate and throttle against adversity with unflinching blood-soaked hands okay so basically yeah that's uh, the same thing okay so we got like kind of a bandit class here uh, exalted stalker Former Imperial Assassin, their downfall and subsequent banishment from their homeland was made of or made or made of them a nomadic cutthroat, killing swiftly and efficiently for nothing more than coin, a challenging class to master, but also lethally effective one. Hmm. So yeah, it looks like a high dexterity class because it's got 16 agility. That's kind of cool. It looks something like looks like something out of uh, Bloodborne. The Black Feather Ranger. I gotta say, I do like that cloak with the feathers and stuff. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, it's kind of muscular for a female, you know. Um, let's see. A member of the elite band of rangers who patrolled a er, who patrolled the forest of the what does it say? The thief of King or er, Kin Ring Ranger or er, Rang, Rangar, something like that. Before a terrible curse born of grief lay waste to their home and accidentally or er, no, an accessible class ideal for those who prefer versatility over a more focused approach. Looks like they have a bow, um, some kind of axe, shield. I think this is the class that uh, Az went with, and I don't really care for uh, spears. Let's 
I mean, this one's alright, you know. Not a big fan of the, like, the wolf head or whatever, but, I mean, I do like that sword. It's pretty cool looking. I'm, I'm guessing it's like a strength build, because it's 16 strength, and what about this one? 12 strength, uh, oh, high endurance, that's what that is. Basically, this is the knight character. Let's see, a stalwart knight whose loyalty to the er, to the cleric and the hollow sentinels is a match or er, is matched only by their uh, determination to destroy a deer and the rogar, a class focused on physical prowess, bolstered by radiance. Hmm. I do like uh, that he has a little bit of. I mean, I don't think he has a spell yet, but it says b uh, bolster by radiance, and that's one of the stats down there. Hmm. What does it say about the werewolf? Or, no, warwolf, I mean. Uh, un... Un... Uh, er, how do you say that? Like, Udirant... Udurangar, Udurangar, or something like that. Warwolf, uh, a hardened champion from the land of Ud Udurangar, who has proven themselves worthy of their of the people's honored rank of Warwolf by completing the requisite ancient trial. One who has her uh, er, one which few survive, a devastating but lightly armored class, driven by raw strength for good or ill. Okay, so I think we're going to go with the pirate cult or cultist. Okay. I mean, I like magic, and, you know, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Okay, so... Dude, I was gonna say that is ugly. Jesus Christ, that's hideous. What is the difference between. It looks like maybe head B is like kind of a white person, maybe, and then like A is like a black person, I think. And then, like, C is, like, an Asian person. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta do something about that hair. Ugh. That is terrible. Let's see. Can I zoom out? How do you zoom out? It says... Damn it, I can't seem to... Because it says uh, lock and unlock, but I can't tell if it's, you know, it doesn't seem to be changing anything. I don't know. Hmm. There's not a lot of good female haircuts. Uh, I guess that would probably be the best. I mean, let's see. with red hair.
Hmm. What the hell is secondary color? Oh, I guess you can blend the colors to kind of make them a little different. I guess that looks all right. Good Lord. This sounds all right. Yeah, I'll go with that. I really don't see my character's ears, so... Sorry. Stupid tattoo. Hopefully, uh, there's a way I can do, like, cosmetics. Let's see. Is there, like, I don't know, no way to... Oh, shit, let's see. So, basically, it'll undo everything if I just... I mean, hopefully that's not true. I mean, let's... See. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see.
And yikes, what the hell happened to her eyes? Why does she look like she has freckles? What's up with that? Ew. She looks like a damn zombie or some shit. I mean, it looks like it doesn't really change until like you get like really close to one side or whatever. I guess that's fine. Let's see. Good lord. Let's see. Why can't I adjust this? Seriously, what the hell? like stuck okay there it goes I guess it was like a glitch or something like once uh, you get like to the like kind of fat or whatever her, her tits get all saggy and shit Oh, here it is. Okay. Whew. Yeah, a lot of these faces are real ugly. Yikes. What the hell? I guess we'll go with like a Terminator red looking kind of thing. Uh, 
All right. Change name. Let's go with, of course, our Stormfront. All right, and let's do it. Hoping I have a weapon, you know, Lord, not just pyromancy. The latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Let's see. A lot of this feels very bloodborne. Worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Okay, so I got... what is this? Is this like a pike or something? Hmm. It's not bad. Let's see. Let me check him. It is a pirate cultist... oh, it's a staff. Okay. And there's my catalyst. Okay, I have Inferno Orb. Let's see. I guess, uh, how do you cast, like... Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna charge heavy attack. Okay, L2, that's my lantern. That's my roll. Need to figure out how to use my pyromancies. Yeah, I know how to lock on to stuff. Can you backstab? So I think that's my pyromancy catalyst. Maybe I press square to use it? Let's see. I got invenerated vigor skull. Hmm. That's weird. I said uh, there was a jump button, but I'm not seeing it. Not jumping. What the hell? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure that one out later.
think, uh, yeah, that's where I came in. I think maybe this way? Okay, yeah, it looks like it's this way. Oh, shit, what'd I do? Oh, okay, I healed, that's what I did. Well, moving forward. Okay, so you press in on the. I don't really care for that. Wow, that's your jump. Just that little. Yeah. If I remember, I think there's like something down here. Four song. Don't know what that is. Okay, so yeah. Uh, once I have that equipped, I press L2, and then uh, I can press R1 to fire balls. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. start. Oh, come on. Is there like, is there no easier way to jump? So, I mean, that jump is very, very, like, ugh. damn it, this is gonna kill me. I mean, am I like over encumbered or some shit? I mean, what's the deal here? Oh my god. Okay, well, I know how to sprint. Well, sprinting. Press X to jump. Okay, come on. Damn it! I don't, I don't get it. I mean... Maybe try a different side? Son of a bitch. My jump is so fucking weak, I can barely make it. Come on. Maybe if I try, like, going then, like, right then left. Oh! I mean, I, I must be, like, well, pressing it too early or something. There we go, finally. Jesus. They really don't give you uh, any breathing room on that jump. Let's see. When locked on to a target, uh, press R, you circle to dash around quickly, and then double tap circle to uh, roll out of danger. Oh shit. Ah! It's another pyromancer. Alright, faster. Oh shit, what's going on? Okay, that's cool. I mean, how the encumbrance is like a little meter down there. Let's 
crying one of my pyromancies out. Hmm. Press F to uh, select range combat. Uh, press L2 to use equipped long range weapon. Er, hmm. Uh, for bows, uh, or, or for bows, crossbows, throwables, keep L2 pressed to stay in range mode. These quick access uh, show how to switch between ammunition types. Uh, press R1 to quick shot, R2 uh, to aim down the sights uh, while walking onto an enemy. Uh, for catalyst, keep L2 pressed. Stay in range mode. Uh, the the quick access menu uh, shows which button to press in order to cast each spell. Assign spells to each button through. Okay, cool. So L2 and then R1. Hm. Really thought it would do more. At least it didn't take up too much. Uh, what you call it? Uh, you know. Uh, mana or whatever. Yeah. Can I destroy yeah. this? No. What's that sound? I wonder if there's a way I can, like, change the run and, you know, the, uh, you know, jump button. Okay, here we go. I hear something, but I don't know what it is. Ah, there you are. Fireball! 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 Uh, all attacks can be combined to create unique combos, including both melee and ranged attacks. Additionally, melee stance or stances can be switched dynamically with triangle to access a wider variety of attacks. Experiment uh, ex er, yeah. Experiment with equipping different melee and ranged weapons to create a unique playstyle. Sanguinix is your primary healing tool and recharges automatically upon reviving. It can be accessed in the quick, quick access items uh, and activated by using square. Other consumables found in your quick access items select left or right to use in square. Okay, so basically it's just saying how to use items. I know how to do that. What the fuck is that sound? Okay. Rift by holding square to transition to umbral. Uh, beware, you can only exit umbral at specific points. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh wait. Huh? Can I somehow... What the hell? I mean... Am I supposed to... I don't know. Oh, I bet I gotta enter the Umbral world. That's probably what it is. Press R to lock on. Select your umbra lamp. Uh, raise it with L2. And soul flame with R2. Damn it, I did it again. Fuck. I hate when I accidentally heal. I can get back up there. Yeah, that ain't happening. working on anything or who's going on there oh yeah I got a soul flail this guy right. soul flaying an enemy soul er uh, soul flaying enemy souls consume a soul flay charge. Uh, let's see. Select uh, umbral lamp. Press uh, with down. Let's see. Raise it uh, to siphon enemies and blisters uh, with R1 to recover soul flay charges. Siphoning also provides additional wither or er, additional withered health or additional withered health uh, and gathers the vigor left by enemies in an area okay so I guess this is one of the blisters I didn't get a what you call it It said it was supposed to give me a charge, but I didn't get one. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. I guess you have to consume, like, so many of them. receives wither when entering umbral or performing certain actions with your umbral lamp. Uh, withered health can be recovered by damaging enemies. However, you will lose it all instantly if you are struck. That sucks. But that's how they did in Bloodborne, so... Suck that, whatever, whatever that thing is. Alright. 
Oh wait, can I not use fire here? Or... Oh, there it goes. Saintly Quintessence. Don't know what that is. Let's see, when falling, press R1 or R2 to perform a plunging attack. Additionally, you can lock on. Okay, let's see. sucks that, uh, you know, those uh, little pus orbs or whatever, they don't restore, like, you know, uh, mana. Uh, prolonged periods of umbral make your presence increasingly known to its inhabitants. The longer you spend in umbral, the more dangerous in, uh, or the more dangerous the beings who hunt you. The hell are these things? Ow, ow, ow. How do we get out of this place? Out of the umbral world, thank God. Hmm. What's going on? Says press X and use emergence uh, eff effigies with X to uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, use emergence e or emergence effigies with X to emerge from umbral and transition to axiom. Oh, okay. I was thinking, uh, I, cause I thought you could make one of those witch call it, uh, let's see. Isn't there like a way you can make a bonfire or something? Let's see. What does it say? I mean, isn't this one of the better flowers? 
looks like it because it's kind of like the control is vibrating and stuff and I guess I can't do it just yet. Open the gate. Abandon red, red, red copes. Let's see. Vestige mark place where the previous lamp burst fell. Once activated, there are some. Uh, they serve as points of revival. Should you die in Umbral, activated vestige can be warped between and used to beckon other lamp spheres. So is this like a what you call it? Uh, yeah, I guess this is like the bonfire. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Okay, can I level up? Okay, upgrade character. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. How's my vitality? It's a little low. My radiance is through the or er, uh, inferno is through the chart or er, off the charts or whatever. Let's see. Ah, I only have enough for one point. Let's see. Okay, so that that increases my health. Uh, carrying weight and my defensive stats. Oh, and also my bleed and poison resist. Alright, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and end this video here. And uh, I'll probably grab a bite and then I'll come right back and we'll continue playing because we're probably going to be playing this all night. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.